everybody, and we are back for another NBI 2K24 of the Rival Week. This next matchup, as we're about to be seeing, is the one and only game that you can ne never mess up on. It always comes for the victim of the New York Showdown. You may remember this from two seasons ago, that the Nets crushed out the New York Knicks. Now our team is already up and endangered right now without the franchise player of RJ Barrett and, and quickly on the other side we have those two professionals that will be playing Achua and Oak Ananobe. Here are the starting groups Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, Julius Randle and Isaiah Hardenstein and on the Brooklyn Nets side we have a sponsor Dinwiddie Cameron Thomas, Macau Bridges, Cameron Johnson, and Nicholas Claxton. Now here's what the team is. Knicks and Nets are the widely historically been a geographical one. With the Knicks playing at Madison Square Garden in the New York City borough of Manhattan, while the Nets play in the suburban area of Long Island and in New Jersey, and since 2012 have been playing at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Now this is the one thing that we are about to be seeing things right on the top spot. We might find out who takes the win and with the spill in between. Now it's time to send you over to Brian Anderson, VA for short, along with the 2K Sports crew and Ali LaForce on the sideline. I'll see you all later for the post game show after this, guys. Let's get to the board and show her how it's done. Off to Barclays Center! Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Rival Week. Starting lineups just announced. We're just about set for basketball. We'll be back in a moment. And now, Two K Sports brings you Thursday night in the NBA. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Brooklyn Nets here at Barclay Center. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analysts, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. And now the opening lineup for New York. Randall and Hartenstein together down low. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three. And for the Nets, Bridges and Johnson work as the forwards. Then it's Nicholas Claxton, then it's Cam Thomas, and it's Denwitty in at the one. Well, now that we're into the thick of things here this season, Grant, we start to get a clear picture of how these teams are going to look this season. Yeah, B.A., this is where it really all starts to come into focus. Off-season trades have either paid off or fizzled, and squads have had time to bond and really get stronger. Now here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Brunson. Here's Hardenstein. He's guarded by Claxton. And that one's good. Jalen Brunson. Uh, this is what makes Jalen Brunson special. You've got to knock down contested shots. Mr. Brunson up to the task. Here's Johnson. Over Randall. And Johnson gets it to go. Johnson. By Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie with the assist. And Brunson's got the ball here for the Knicks. Fires the three. He's in his comfort. Jalen Brunson. Two for two to start for this three. one. You can see the work Jalen Brunson has put into his game. Boy, the three-point stroke has really come a long way. Johnson passes to Claxton. Here's Dinwiddie. Brunson defending. Pass to Bridges. The three. Three. So Spencer did win it. Three point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Brunson. He's got five. And here they come. And they're going to count. See, Thomas. The line. It could be a three point play. You know, guys, he's so selfless. Number one. Oh, I don't know. He's first person to foul. First team foul. 
I don't know why I'm going to go that. He's going to shoot him for a book up. Cameron Johnson. With one shot. first quarter and Doris for Brooklyn what do you think their biggest challenge will be retooling this roster yeah one of the problems they face they don't own many of their own draft picks so acquiring key pieces has to come through trades and free agency and with that you then have to have the salary cap implications to deal with this is not easy Bridges passes to Johnson shot clock at five here's Thomas Um, Cameron Johnson. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. They need this. Shot blocked. And out New York ball. New York will have another go. to Hartenstein. Three-pointer. The rebound by Bridges. The Nets have gone four of four from the floor. Perfect start. Then when he passes to Bridges. Randall against Johnson. Oh, got a piece of it. Just five to shoot. Here's Dinwiddie. This is the jumper from the wing. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. Randall can't hit. The Nets with the lead. Bridges passes to Claxton. And Nicholas. For the layup off of Claxton. Nice speed. Nicole Bridges with the assist. If it's working, no need to change. New York calls. Why not New York? They put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. Yeah, they wanted to win the physical battle in that game, and they did. The rebounding numbers really paint the picture. That control of the boards, I felt, fed their offense. There were a ton of second chances, a lot of confidence their bigs could dominate the glass. Now, as you can tell right now, that this is a lot of confidence in between. They got a lot of great statics. But the ability is, this is a hard one that they are trying to maintain it. But this wasn't... Not the only game that they were really stepping it up through. Because of this point, they were really starting to struggle it with their feelings. They didn't really think they were going to hesitate that much. That's what happens before. And nobody has ever even done that like this. Because of all, it happens to many of them. Exactly, and I guess there is another changing solution to have it all down. We might see if there is another group stack and the ability might be changeable. Maybe possible enough. But it's endless. There's a lot of them that they are just going to have to try to figure it out how to get down from here. Well, there might be another change if they can get there, that one on time. You'll never know what comes next. Well, maybe it might be. You'll never know. <laughs> While we have a moment, some leaders from the real NBA. The real numbers show the league leaders in second chance points. New York in fifth. You've got to respect the work ethic of these guys on the offensive glass. They don't give up on possessions and hit the boards with aggression. And here's Brunson from the arc. Claxton with a rebound. And the Nets with possession here. They're on a 13-3 run. Then when he passes to Claxton. Pass to Bridges. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Here's Claxton. Nicholas Cluxton from Spencer Dinwiddie. And they're totally lost. Now here's Brunson. He's guarded by Claxton. And that one's good. Jalen Brunson. Hasn't taken him any time to get into a groove. Three or four to start things off. Bridges outside. Back to Dinwiddie. Outside Johnson. Kevin. Dinwiddie's 
Johnson! Spencer Dewey. Great flow and great execution. Well, Doris, it's special when you get a kid like Cam Johnson who can seriously stretch the floor. Well, B.A., we know how highly valued deep shooting is. Cameron Johnson from the three-point line is legit dangerous. He's supremely confident. But what I love is he can also put it on the deck. He can also be elite defensively. The best is yet to come from an already talented player. Gets Tenwoody on the wing. Shoots over to even Tenzo. Tenwoody, no good. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Here's Randall. That one falls. Julius Randall. Now one for three. Six, six, Julius Randall's improvement means he's going to have a good defender on him. And this guy makes contested shots now. Look out, Julius. Once two minutes play in the first period. 15 in his last outing. Johnson passes to Bridges. Here's Thomas. That one's good. Cameron. Thomas. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Brunson taking his time here. Yeah, Hart and Stein. Stein. Well, the beauty of Jalen Brunson, you can play him at the one or the two, but we know he's always going to put the pass on time and on target. Pass to Dinwiddie. It's Bridges on the wing. Shoots over at Anobi. And there's Bridges. McCall. Bridges! Five points in the Spencer game. Spencer Dinwiddie. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Timeout. Well, what Middle. I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Making some changes. Watford's checked in for Claxton. Finney Smith comes in for Johnson. He's vision for and it's New York. In for Bridges. Ty Gibson. Okay, group Josh Watson here for New York. Gibson's checked in yeah, for Achua. Achua comes in for Julius Randle. Josh Hart's checked in for Evan Obi. And it's Grimes in for DiVincenzo. Here's O'Neal. He's coming off a 13 point game against the Rockets in Houston. Puts it up from the high post. You got a piece of it. Pass to Hart. The three ball. And Watford pulls it down. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Here's Thomas. Achua with the rebound. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. But boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Good setup. Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. He has no answer to the rock. Pass to Thomas. Here's Finney Smith. Achua with some nice D. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Now it's hard. Launches it. The shot comes out. So the end of the fourth period. A nine point cushion at the end there. of the quarter. C22. Setting the tone. New York Knicks. More NBA 14. action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Brooklyn? Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. The 
the other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. And Grant, some players feel like certain officials have it out for them. Did you ever see any of that? You know what, B.A., the refs are human too. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> but they're supposed to be impartial. So if you go after them for a while, it's possible they will hold a grudge. So on the floor for New York, Todd Gibson is out there with Precious Achua. Then it's Josh Hart. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's Grimes in at the two. And the three-pointer goes. Grimes, for Grimes three. has got his first three points of the game. That's three buckets in a row off assist. It's stolen by Hart. Pass to Brunson. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. Dinwiddie against Spitzer. Using his Dinwiddie. moves to get the two points. Shows the ability to read and react by finding an open teammate up court. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Hart from long range. Yes. Josh nice Clark assist for from three. Brunson. Brunson's got three Jared assists Brunson. in the game. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. Now here's Finney Smith. No made baskets yet. Dinwiddie outside. Here's Walker. He takes it inside. Mineral foul. Number 67. Foul. Ty Gibson. His first personal foul. And here first are the team top three-point shooters in the NBA. The the shooting the line for the Nets. Third Look, three Walker. In the league. Well, the shooting percentage he's cultivated from deep range is so impressive. His three-point shot is about as good as you can hope for. Brooklyn. Claxton, he's checked in for, for the Brooklyn Nets. Comes in for Finney Smith. And Mikhail Bridges. Number 33. For Nicholas Claxton. And number 26. Cameron Johnson. And number one. Nicole Bridges. And that's good as he hits both shots. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. New York ball. Touched by Dinwiddie. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Julius Randle. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Grimes. The three. Overall, struggling to get buckets from three-point land this half. Outside Walker. Dinwiddie outside. Johnson on the wing. Have an OB covering. Got a piece of it. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. And this is what the really good defensive players do. They anticipate and they're rarely fooled. Bridges. There's the drive. The call. Bridges! Bridges has got seven points. If you overplay Mikel Bridges to take the jump shot, that's creating driving lanes. Deep He'll fence. take advantage. Gives Deep a chance fence. to catch up with Allie LaForce. Mikel Bridges is a premier defender. He said, quote, well, people take it for granted how tough it is to guard the top perimeter players in this league and not be able to really touch them because they're going to get the foul call. It's jump ball! We could take it for granted. B.A., he's on point. Yeah, he does have a point there. Thanks, Allie. So it's Brooklyn now. New York has gone two of four for the Dante DiVincenzo. So Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. For Brooklyn, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Johnson passes to Walker. Johnson with it. DiVincenzo picks him up. Dinwiddie outside. Six on the shot clock. Good. On the the call. Bridges. Bridges. Points now in the quarter. Well, with the high release point on Mikel Bridges' jumper, it's very hard to contest. Just a matter of being consistent now. Even Chinzo can't hit. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Dinwiddie against Steven Chinzo. Pass to Bridges. 4 3. Yes. Three. Big up. 
Timeout, New York. Calls timeout. Brad, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. But tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, VA is very fascinating. The main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams. I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us. You know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately headed. Looks like this one comes on down, and you may never notice that many other teams are just like pushing their way through. And exactly, I can't even tell that Brooklyn Nets are just climbing their way in there, trying to get there and to tackle them down, and then do what they do to just keep it for good. Well, it may be a one way change, but let me tell you why. Because this was really that hard when they were challenging things up. I never saw how well they did, but you know, it's a lot hard. When sometimes most of the games are just really turning out to be very unfair, it, it's just impossible to make that one maintain. Well, we're hoping to get more of it pretty soon, and probably by then, it will be a hard one to maintain it. Yep, I guess that might be a one change off. We never know what's going to happen. Coming up later, we'll be the halftime show, so I'll keep you guys be posted. Let's get you back down to BA. He's checked in for New York. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Floats one up. Dinwiddie with a rebound. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Walker passes to Bridges. Miguel. He's got 15. Bridges. Simply blown away by his accuracy. He has made every shot, and what's most important, his team is winning. Pass to Hartenstein. Oh, they can't stop the run with that one. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Johnson on the wing. Tries a 10-footer. Nicholas cuts it. This one. Cameron Johnson. Both ends of the floor, and it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Now here's Randall. 35 points for him Joshua. last game against Chicago. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Here's Walker. It's a 14-point game. Johnson finds Walker. Here's Dinwiddie, and it's Spencer Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got four points this quarter. I'll tell you, you can't put your head down after a tough one. Second he's period. And now he's starting to roll. Here's Hartenstein. Brooklyn with the board. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. Rebounded by the Nets. Claxton's got rebound number five here tonight. We've seen our fair share of NBA players from the UK. Is Ananobi the most successful, you think? Well, B.A., yeah, how about this? I mean, he's the first player from the United Kingdom to win an NBA championship. Back in 2019, he was part of that Raptors uh, championship. And think about this. He has now turned Isaiah himself into Hardenstein. that coveted, elite Time out. defensive Brooklyn. player on the wing so needed in today's NBA. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that home. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Group substitution for Brooklyn Nets. Finishing what comes in for Jackson. Oh, yeah. He's checked in for Bridges, and it's Thomas in for Dinwiddie. Now here's Finney Smith. Oh, 28. Yeah, Joey. Finney Smith. Down low. In number nine. Ten. Watford. Outside Walker. Five on the clock. 
pulls it from the top of the key. Lewis Walker. Vinny Smith's got his first two points of the night. Three. Vinny Smith. Not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never Braves, over. You've got to continue to score, continue What's to score. What's his job? Josh Hart. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. 16 feet out. Finney Smith's shot is off. New York has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Outside Brunson, Gibson. And Watford pulls it down. Now Finney Smith. And we That's the end of the first time of the game. Brooklyn Nets, 42. Uh, New York Nets. Well, now we have some time to check 20. in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Coach Thibodeau and Coach, the rebounding differential not in your favor. What do you see? Well, they're going every time. And we have to put a body on people. They go get it. Got to increase that effort level. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. Mikel Bridges playing terrific basketball in this one. He ended up with 15 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight's a different story. He obviously has a short memory. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nets first half? Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then basically executing. Most of their shots that come from the most offense, rarely did they take a bad shot. Good, clean first half. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? I know teams love to rely on the three these days, but we have to know when to get away from it. They did at least two out of the first half. Hopefully they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stuck in. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Well, you look at Mikhail Bridges. What a contribution. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Johnson at the floor with Claxton at center. Then it's Cam Thomas. Then it's Mikhail Bridges. And it's Dinwiddie. Nicholas Claxton. The group starting the second half. Spencer Dinwiddie. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start. Julius Randle. Down. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. Here's Thomas. Dinwiddie outside. It's Bridges on the wing. Pass to Thomas. It's stolen. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Randall. Oh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Oh, Randall's got six. Well, the strength of Julius Randall is an obvious asset. This guy, despite being undersized, is able to finish through contact. Now here's Dinwiddie, a reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. Bridges passes to Claxton, puts it up from 12. It's rebounded by New York. Brunson. 90 seconds into the second half now. Another shot. And he sinks the last. Isaiah Hogan stops. Six points for him. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Bridges outside. Johnson on the way. Cameron. Johnson. 
Robinson with it. Seven points in the game. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. The three, DiVincenzo. That's very beautiful. Off the assist from Brilliant. Brunson. Brunson's got five assists in the game. Claxton passes to Thomas. Dinwiddie outside. Ananobi against Bridges. Pass to Thomas. Five to shoot. Count it. And the Nets lead by 11. You can see Thomas. when you go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Here's DiVincenzo. For three, Randall. Claxton with a rebound. Claxton's got a six rebound on the night. Outside Johnson. Inside. Arkenstein pulls it in. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Here's DiVincenzo. Can't take okay, no much here. DiVincenzo's got seven. You gotta appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Back to Dinwiddie. Thank you, Spencer. Dinwiddie. slow to react. Got and that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Now here's Steven Chinzo. He's got seven. And what is it? Up on the to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. From deep, Johnson. The Knicks pull it in. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. The three, DiVincenzo. Yes. Dante DiVincenzo. Nice from Brunson. The three. Brunson's got this is number Jared seven Brunson. tonight. And so Denwood, he will bring it up for Brooklyn. 17 points was their biggest margin. Bridges against Ananobi. Pass to Johnson. Just five on the clock. Here's Thomas. And Cameron. Now Thomas. Seven. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Time out. Time out. Called by New York. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. For New York Knicks. checked in for Claxton. And a goes in for Johnson. O'Neal, he's checked in for Bridges, and it's Walker in for Dinwiddie. So New York seven. going with Thomas and the entire new group here. Gibson's checked in for Hartenstein. Oh, Chua comes in for Julius so. Randle. Hart's oh, checked in for Ananobi, and it's Grimes in for Brunson. Here's Walker. The next making their last shot. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Finney Smith providing this team some offensive stability. Dorian Finney Smith! Success from mid range has really set them apart today. The Knicks have gone 8 of 10 in the third and looking in control. To the paint. Oh, a nice Don shot Gibson. by Gibson. Gibson's spot. got his second basket Dante. of the game. Give they finally touch. found their shooting touch after a rough first half. Walker passes to O'Neal. A minute 37 left in the third. Attacking the rim what for? with power. Tremendous finish. New York has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And when it comes to Royce O'Neal, there's a reason this guy plays big minutes, Graham. Well, B.A., it's all because he has the trust of his teammates and his coaches. Just a high IQ guy who never plays in a rush. Brooklyn has gone five of six from three-point land so far. Now here's Finney Smith, providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Pass to O'Neal. Right side, Walker. Fires, top of the key. The Knicks with the rebound. 
Achua's got his fifth rebound in this one. Prime shot is off. Now that's have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Here's Finney Smith. Three! Dorian! Finney Smith! Efficient offensively. Good feel for one to rise on fire. Here's Gibson. And he wins the eight footer. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Pass to Thomas. It's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock. It's stolen by Hart. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Grimes. Out to DiVincenzo. Tries again. The shot that time, not on target. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. And so it's in the third quarter. They have a nice nine point cushion at the end of the quarter. Nine, consistency has been your next the next 50. They've been the more physical team. More 2K action in just a moment. And it's time to bring up the State Farm Assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. New York trailing. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. They've got Josh Hart, Julius Randle out there with Achua. Then it's OG Ananobi, and it's Brunson in at the one spot. Now here's Achua. Pass to Brunson. Jalen Brunson. Boy, that's quality defense. Jalen Brunson just keeps his composure and focus. Brooklyn has gone six of eight from the three-point line in this matchup. To the inside, Bridges. The go! Bridges! Defensively, you can't afford to let them get to the rim that easy. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Now here's a chewer. Pass to Brunson, to the middle. Randall can't hit. The Nets with the lead. Dinwiddie outside, back to Claxton. Thomas passes to O'Neal. Good work defensively by Randall. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively is the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Bridges outside. Pass to Dinwiddie. Offensive board. Goes back up. And that's two points for the layup. Dinwiddie. And the Nets lead by nine. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. That's two points for the dunk. Yeah, Julius Randle has a good this feel on the offensive Julius end. Randall. On time and on target with the pass. It's Bridges on the wing. He's covered by Hart. Dinwiddie outside. Shot from 16. And there's Bridges. Go. That's good. Bridges. Oh, he's hit by Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got 10 Dinwiddie. assists here tonight. So active. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Achua. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Beyond the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Ananobi's got himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for Brooklyn. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's O'Neal, checked by Randall. And here's Claxton. And count it. Nicholas Claxton! The bounce pass. Uh, the Great setup. The Knicks have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Brunson passes to Randall. Yes, Julius and a nice Randall. assist from Brunson. 
Brunson's got eight assists here. Assist the defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Stolen by Ananobi. Dunks it. Uh, I I to set him up. This is what I remember this Well, this is going to be a close game right now as we are saying things in between the Brooklyn Nuts and New York Knicks. They're getting close by now. They're down by three. If they get three, then they're all tied up. If they get a two, it's going to be a close game to get there in front. Well, I must tell you right now there, Woodspoon, because this is what happens right now. They're trying to get this one out of the way. They don't want to get that one out too comfortable and comfortable. They want to like slow them down. They really do not want to see how well they are trying to like keep it out of here. But this rage is going to be a hard one to take. So, I don't know how this is going to happen, but... Let's find out how they do. All right, and that being said right now, let's see if they can tie this up or even take the close game in between. Back to you, Brian. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Cam Bridges. And guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Johnson, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Jacques Vaughn had some advice for the team over that last break. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right three, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Okay, thanks, Allie. Now here's Dinwiddie. Johnson finds Bridges. Back to Johnson. Oh, Cameron Johnson, the girl Bridges. The one hand slam, man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Pass to Ananobi. Blocked. And here's Claxton. Dinwiddie outside. Spencer Dinwiddie. Now it's a seven point Nets lead. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing Time out. New York. We have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving it a cheer. Now a timeout called by New York. Boy, you look at Mikhail Bridges. What a contribution. You've got to take a timeout, take a breath, and come up with a plan for how to stop this guy. He's checked in for Hart. DiVincenzo, pass to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. It's blocked! Dinwiddie against Brunson. Now Dinwiddie, pass to Thomas. Shot from the wing. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hartenstein's got six rebounds here tonight. DiVincenzo on the wing. And again, the Knicks missing. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Three! Thomas! The Carol Bridges. He's keeping his options open. One, two minutes remaining in the fourth period. They get a hand on it. Inside. 51 left to play in the fourth quarter. And an OB against Johnson. To the paint. Here's Claxton. Oh! Nicholas! Claxton! Nicholas. Cameron Johnson. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Nets? Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far. Using fast hands to force the turnovers. And then scoring on the first team foul. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. So it's the Knicks now. After the basket by Brooklyn. Well, because of his length, quickness, athleticism, this guy is able to smother shots. Excellent defense. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Thomas. Bridges against 
Bridget. Say I know me. He shoots it. And Brooklyn again. The girl. Bridget. He even pulls things out. That might have been the nail in the coffin. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. And an Obi for three. Claxton with a rebound. And I'm surprised that didn't go bad. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game. And it was a victory. Nicholas Claxton. in on the scoring. Had nice passing, which led to good looks. Just solid play by these guys. And this will get marked down as their 16th win of the year. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Mikhail Bridges. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. Brunson against Dinwiddie. Johnson passes to Bridges. Dinwiddie outside. Big stop. Spencer. Second, second first foul. First, first team foul. For New York, New York, Jalen Johnson. Shooting two shots. Oh, 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 oh. Three throw good from Brunson. Well, because Jalen Brunson is such a terrific decision maker, you can tell how confident and comfortable this team is when he runs the offense. Royce O'Neal. Danielle Blackford. And Louis Walker. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 20 seconds left to play in the fourth. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. Then Woody with it. That's the end of the game. Your final score for tonight's matchup. Brooklyn, like 80, and New York Knicks, 68. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time. All right, thank you so much, Dan Brian Anderson. And this one was a turnout blow away for the Brooklyn Nets. Here's what I did with the tall team comparison in between. For the last two, I've been, have been outstanding for tonight. 66% for the field goals for the Brooklyn Nets. Three pointers for 36 for the New York Knicks. Three out of three free throws for 100% for Brooklyn Ducks, and fast break points was 14. It was points in the point that was turned to be 48 and 9 with along with 23 bench points for New York Knicks. 33 was assisted here for Brooklyn Ducks. The offensive rebound was 6 for New York, and Brooklyn was 25 defensive rebounds. There was only 5 steals that turned to be New York Knicks. And then four blocks for the Brooklyn Nets. All for Nicholas Claxton because he's been blocked here out. Four turnovers was New York Knicks. One team foul was given out for Brooklyn. They've done great. Not even trying to make a foul out of them, but turned out really well. Six dunks were performed for New York Knicks. 17 biggest lead for Brooklyn Nets. And 15-14 was the time of possession of the game. Now let's head you down to Burma. We're for the three-star players of the game. You take it from here. All right, thank you so much right now. Your first star player of the game, this one starts up here for Nicholas Claxton. He got four great four blocks in a row with only a steal, three assists, 10 rebounds, and 12 points. He only had 18 performance run, and he got a gray at it just to keep that one going in from downtown. Now for number two star player of the game. This one can keep on coming down. And you know, this is what's everybody's idea. Cameron John Thomas. With 17 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and it was only turned out to be 2 3-pointers. 
7 out of 10 field goals, and 22 performance run was the last one to be. So he done really well at it, keeping an eye on the pride. And your first star player to game goes to a New Balance player to game. This one turns to beat to say hello to all. It all calls with McCall Bridges with 21 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, 3 three pointers, and 9 out of 10 field goals. Only 1 dunk and 36 performance run. Excellent star for McCall Bridges. And that will do. Back to you, Woodspoonie. Alright, thank you so much. And as I mean said, that will do the New York Showdown. If you really like the other one better, then you should check out in the playlist section of the NBI 2K Sports of the playlist section. But right now, that is totally it, as right now we'll be keeping your eyes here on the next rival matchup of the NBI 2K Sports. This is Wood Spoony standing by, and I will be seeing you all again next time. Peace out for a while as the NBI 2K24 dial. Be sure to subscribe to his channel and follow him on his social media. If you don't, somebody will do it. Until next time, see ya. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.